Hey guys, it's Pete helping you take the next step with your property journey. So one of my customers recently asked me after he see the news that this land parcel A of Zion Road is particularly very, very cheap. And yet the government still uh, awarded the land parcel. So the question is now, should you wait for this land parcel? Are you going to get a good deal? So I'm going to answer all these questions right here in this video. So here's Pete helping you take your next step with your property with Singapore Property Pro. So to begin with, we have to ask ourselves, why did URA awarded this Zion Road land parcel A? So you might not be even be interested to why, why since there's only a sole bidder and why did URA even award this, right? So there's a lot of speculations, right? Before uh, this announcement was made, within the uh this real estate community that maybe maybe that this parcel land parcel may not be awarded you know why because it's so bitter and it's actually a very low price so it's no no uh strange news to ura that they actually will reject you know so if the bid is really too low, they will reject. So a similar thing actually happened at the Marina Gardens Crescent site. There was still it's the same thing. There was only a single bidder, and what guess what? URA rejected that bid, right? Because the price was too low. That's the official statement for them, and they actually rejected the bid. So what's next? If we look at the Zion Road land parcel, so how low is it? So let's just dive in and see what are the GRS, the recent GRS that was awarded. Some of them have already uh, have developments going on. And if we take a look around the area, um, we see Martin Modern. Martin Modern actually was sold, the land was sold uh, in 2016. And it was sold about $1,239 per square foot per plot ratio. And the next plot, was Riviere. Riviere was sold in 2017 and the price was about $1,733 per square foot per plot ratio. If you don't know what's Riviere, Riviere, by the way, is the old location where this very famous disco, it's called the Zook, used to be around. So right now it is a condo. It's called Riviere right now. And the next one would be somewhere also nearby. Uh, this uh, cluster is Owell Hill. Owell Hill was sold in 2020 for $1,515 per square foot per plot ratio. Then comes to this plot, right? This plot where is our plot. Guess how much, right, that the land was sold by the government, right? The land was sold by the government for this Zion plot, $1,202 per square foot per plot ratio. Right? If you take a look and compare this, you know, this trend, right? It seems that we actually actually took a time machine, right? We actually took somewhat like a time machine and went back eight years, right? Eight years, right? From the time that Martin Modern was sold all the way to now, the price went back to eight years ago price about $1,200 per square foot. So is it a good thing or is it not a good thing? So let's take a look at this and why the government actually sell the land away. Okay, so if you look at this, the government, this plot actually is a side-by-side -side plot. There's parcel A and parcel B. Parcel A is where uh, it was just sold. Parcel B, the tender is in, in, uh, in the pipeline. And together, there's also two other, pipe, two other parcels that are going to be sold around the area. But it's very interesting to note that this parcel has this thing called service apartment. If you look at the tender specification, right? Parcel A for Zion Road is supposed to be 1,170 units, and that's inclusive of 435 SA2 units. So what in the world, you might be asking, is a SA2 unit? So the government right now wants to address right, the needs for long-term rental housing solution, and they came out with a new class of property called service apartments, long-stay service apartments for SA2 and the minimum requirement to stay is actually three months. So this is something that the government wants to address and wants to do. And with that in mind, that's probably also one of the reasons that I think that the government still went ahead 
to award this plot uh, to the developer because this is something that they actually put in writing. It's a plan for them to test out this new idea, this new property class. And in order to do that, they have to award the land in order for them to build, right? In order for them to do that. So I think it's something that the government wish to proceed. And I think this is something that they want to set it as a benchmark to see an incubator to see whether this class of property actually works or not. So if we go back to the first question that I asked, right? Let's wait, right? Developer will sell cheap. So I'm sure that many, you know, many of you might be thinking, so I buy the land cheap, right? I can wait because the developer is going to sell cheap, right? So that is the some sort of like a logical thinking. But then again, if we look at it, right, will the developer really sell cheap? Okay. Right now, I've just did some research and I've seen that the nearby condos from this MRT, right? I take this MRT, the Great Wall MRT station as the focal point and the nearby condos that is already transacted around this condominium is already selling for $2,000. $380 per square foot. That's the resale transaction, actual units being sold. So let me ask you, if, right, if actual resale units right now that is near this Great World uh, MRT station has already been transacted at $2,380 per square foot, how much would the developer launch this unit when it's ready to launch in somewhere in 2000, uh, 2025, right? So typically it takes about one, one and a half years for them to actually draw the plans, approve it and to launch it for sale. So how much do you think it would be launching that? That's one question to ask yourself that right now we're selling 2380 per square foot. Okay, the other question is if we the developer buy cheap, right? What? Does it really mean that the developer will sell a unit to you cheap, right? So this is a question that most of some of my customers are also asking me, right? And and to to find out is really to look at what has already happened in the market and see whether that kind of thinking will actually make sense or is there any development that happens in the market that is behaving just like that? So it just happened that also in the city fringe area, in the city area. We have this on block called Maxwell House for those who love food. It's just opposite Maxwell Market, and it's sold to a couple of developers for two hundred and seventy six point eight million. It's an on block transaction, by the way. And if I look at the data, you know the gross floor area, the GFA works out to be somewhere around the two hundred and thirty three thousand square foot range. So if we just do a little bit of math. The land price is estimated to be about $1,183 per square foot per plot ratio. Now, having said that, we are still putting in some of the numbers. We are just estimating that the break even is around $2,100 per square foot. Let's add 20% profit, right? 20% profit that the developer wish to sell. That will work out to be about $2,520 per square foot. So, is 20% uh, something like a, a reasonable price that the developer will launch? Some might say that it's on the high side, right? So maybe they want to do 15%. And if you've seen enough uh, social media posts or some webinars or some information on social media, you will even see, you will even see that developers will launch at 10%, 15%. So 20%, I will say, is, is a fair uh, it's a fair margin, wouldn't you agree, right? So that's $2,500 per square foot. But what actually did happen? If you look at on launch day, the developer actually launched it at an average of $3,310 per square foot. Now, let's track back, right? At 20% profit, it was $2,520 per square foot. Developer actually launched it at $3,300 plus per square foot. So we ask ourselves this question again. If the developer buy cheap, does it mean the developer will launch and sell it cheap? 
Now you can be uh, the judge of that question and you can answer that question yourself. Now you might say that not convincing, right? Let's take a look at those four puzzles, right? The four puzzles, the Martin Modern, the Earl Hill, the Revere. So these are actual transaction of all this. That means units sold, right? Be a new launch or resale transaction. Units that was sold, okay, that's nearby to this Zion Road parcel A. And right now, in the first quarter of 2024, the transaction prices of resale, these are real, by the way, okay, well, for Irwell, it has already crossed $2,800 per square foot. And for the other two, the other two, the Irwell and the Martin Modern is already 2006. So for Riviere, it's already 2008. Martin and Irwell here is already $2,600 per square foot, right? Let's take a look into, into perspective. Riviere, right, about 2008. Martin, 2006. Irwell, 2006. So for Zahian Road, okay, this plot A, which probably will be not now, but another one and a half years later, somewhere in the middle of 2025. So how much do you think that developer is going to launch it? It's going to launch it more than what the resale is doing now, or it's going to launch it less than what the resale is doing now, right? The most important thing is I think we need to look at it objectively look at the data and do some calculations. And if you are still confused, just simply connect with me, right? Link in the bio and description, or just give me a DM and me and my team will get back to you to share with you more in detail about how we use data to determine, to determine this, the right entry price for this new development that's going to be launched or even for a resale that you intend to buy, right? So this is Pete helping you take the next step with Singapore Property Pro, right? I'll see you in the next video.